Have you ever noticed images floating in mid air like those in sci-fi movies? Today we are going to recreate that captivating effect with a basic holographic setup. This experiment will give you insight into how light reflection, optics and virtual images work. To begin, here are the materials you will need. A rectangular cardboard box with its sides, bottom, top and back still intact, a protractor, a roller, scissors, paper cutter, a smartphone, a transparent OHP sheet. With a protractor, measure a 45 degree angle at one corner of a side of the cardboard box. Mark this angle using a pen or a marker, then use a ruler to draw a straight line along the marked angle. Repeat the same process on the opposite side of the cardboard box, marking the 45 degree angle at the other corner. Using the paper cutter, make slits along the marked 45 degree lines. These slits will hold the transparent plastic sheet at the correct angle to reflect the light and create the holographic effect. Now place your smartphone on top of the cardboard and measure its length and width. Mark the outline of its shape accordingly. Cut out the measured portion from the top of the box so the phone can sit securely on top. Next, place the transparent sheet carefully into the slits. The plastic sheet acts as a reflective surface and the 45 degree angle is crucial for reflecting the light from the smartphone to create the illusion of a floating 3D image. When you are done, the box should look like this. Play a hologram video on your smartphone and place it on top of the box. Now it's time to turn off the lights and watch the magic happen. Images from the foam will be reflected onto the transparent plastic sheet, creating the illusion of a floating 3D object inside the box. Let's now explore the science behind this experiment. When light from the smartphone screen hits the transparent plastic sheet, some of it reflects off the surface. The sheet is positioned at a 45 degree angle so that the reflection is directed toward the viewer sides creating a virtual image that seems to float in the air. While reflection plays a major role, a small portion of the light also bends or refracts as it passes through the transparent plastic sheet. This is why the plastic needs to be cleared, allowing light to pass through without too much distortion. This experiment beautifully illustrates how light interacts with surfaces to create illusions, making holography one of the most fascinating applications of optics.